basic and let's start the day like that. No, one and five and one, five, six, seven. Hello, welcome to the third class of our beginners Cuban salsa course. We are teaching you moves in couples. I'm Michal, this is Ola La Suerte Dance School. We are trying to follow our beginner's guide during these videos. So if you would like to get one, check the description of this video and all details will be there. But I have to explain one more thing. There are some moves in the guide that we are not doing yet. And the reason for that is that some of the moves we are doing not as a couple, but as a bigger group, what in Cuban salsa is called Rueda or Rueda de Casino. Now, because we record these videos still during the lockdown, we can't invite many people here yet. But as soon as we are allowed to do that, we'll show you probably even all moves that we are teaching you, not only in a setup where there are two of us, but when we dance in a circle as Rueda. So stay tuned for that. You can subscribe to not miss the future videos, um, but we'll carry on as usual. Today will be very important class. We'll show you how to change position from close one to open. So we'll teach you Dilekeno and Guapea. Let's start. Everything we've done so far was in closed position. So we were in here. Ding, ding, maybe to this camera as well. Ding, ding, so I don't have to swap it quickly. This is a more traditional way to dance. It's very nice way, way to start your dance. Ding, ding, coco. Music starts usually slowly, so we want to start in close position. This is very uh, regular way of dancing. It comes from Son Cubano. We'll talk a bit more about Son during this class and there will be videos dedicated to Son on our channel. So if you want to know more about history, culture, etc., you can check our other videos. But a lot more common way to dance salsa, or maybe common way is not a good expression. It's a way you use more while dancing. It's the position you are in more while dancing. It's an open position. We're going back and front and back and front and back and front or like this ting tiki kum pi pim pim pi pim king kiki kum ki king king ki pim we'll show you all of it maybe we'll start with the first one uh, to begin with and then we'll introduce you to the other one as well the step we just showed now is called guapea it's the basic step in open position before we dance it as a couple we'll show you to one camera what are our steps. We already know steps partially because they are the same or they are almost the same as the basic front and back that we already taught you in one of the previous videos. Check, check cards. There will be video explaining basic front and back, but it's not exactly the same. It's based on the same principle, but it's slightly different. From a lady perspective, it's exactly the same step, but you start it opposite direction. Yes. So instead of going with the left forward, she starts with the right back, but it is exactly the same step. So we have five, six, back, one, two, three, and five, six, seven, and one, two, three, and five, six, seven. So it's the same what we already taught you, just opposite direction. Now, from men perspective, it's a bit more difficult because you have to mirror this step. So you still can start with the left leg, but instead of going Front with the left, we'll go back with the left. So I'll go left back, right front together, and right front, left back together, and back, cheeky cheek, and front, cheeky poku. So we both start with back foot, and both continue forward, tick, tiki, pum, and forward. But we're going with opposite feet, tick, tiki, pum, and left, cheeky cheek, and right, cheeky poku. And one is when we go back, six, seven, back, cheeky cheek and front cheeky poco, back cheeky chick, and front cheeky poco, back cheeky chick, and front cheeky poco. Okay, screen will be split half. On half you have me from the back, on half of it you'll have Ola from the back. Um, now, when we're 
standing opposite to each other. We are in a bit of distance. Maybe we'll show it from this perspective and we'll, show, we'll hold only one hand. She's still holding my thumb, her fingers on top and my fingers are closing the grip. Second hand is free. Her is on the hip. Mine will be around my waist as well. Another thing that will happen with the second hand, we'll start touching it. So we'll go palm to palm and this touch will happen on five. And it has to be touch, not a clap. So it's not nothing like that, just simple touch. Why this touch is important? Because there will be moments that I will try to grab her hand and continue with the move with two hands. And if we just clap it, it's impossible to hold it. Yeah? So have this in mind and nothing awkward, nothing like that, no. Just touch, like you are touching a wall. I know it's a bit taking human emotion from yeah. it, but uh, maybe it's a better uh, idea at the beginning. Okay, let's go. We know how to hold each other now, and we'll start our guapea. Both of us are going back. I go back with the left, she goes back with the right. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, and touch on five, six, seven. One, two, three, and touch on five, six, seven. One, two, three, and five, six, seven. Now, if you watch our feet, five, six, seven. She's going directly forward in between my legs. One, two, three, and I open slightly outside. One, two, three, and out, six, seven. One, two, three, and out, six, seven. One, two, a bit slower. Five, six, seven. Back, cheeky, cheek, and front, cheeky, pook. Back, cheeky, cheek, and front, cheeky, pook. And back, cheeky, cheek, and front, cheeky, poco, and back, cheeky, cheek, and front, and stop. Okay? I hope that is clear. If it's not, watch it again. Now, the clue of our class will be how to change positions, how to go from close position we showed you previously to open position, so guapea step that we are showing you right now. Yeah, maybe from this point of view, five, six, seven, one, two, three. Five, six, D like and one, two, three, five, six, seven, and back, cheeky, chick, and front, cheeky, poco, back, cheeky, chick, and front, cheeky, poco. Now, I have to add a bit of comments because uh, you guys are commenting under our videos quite often, and, and we had a comment, for example, uh, under one of our beginners' Roomba class, oh, why you are not moving your upper body, yeah, like, oh, what's happening with your arms? And to be honest, I didn't respond to this comment because I didn't want to be rude or anything like that. But uh, it's important to understand that we are doing classes for beginners right now. So if we start adding everything at once, your minds will just simply explode. So when we show you this delay like cannot step, we'll simplify it as well. This is not the best way to do it. We are telling you it right now. And we'll show you many better ways, many. But because we want you to understand and we want you to follow our course step by step and improve it over time, we'll simplify it. So uh, if somebody will write, oh, this is not the right way to do, do, do the like, and oh, yeah, okay, you might be right. This is not the best way, but it's completely proper. Uh, it's correct and it, deve it develops proper habits. And this is what we are working on during learning how to dance. We want to develop habits. So. How to do the like, no, you want to say so, something? Yes, have it. Ladies, what I said in the first video, even when you do this move where you separate, still keep your weight. So your partner is not your support. So nice do you frame. You know where we are. But, you're a yeah. frame, not a support. You're a yeah. frame and you're keeping your own nice picture. So just okay. something to remember while we continue. Yeah, so what she means is she's always dancing light in yeah. a way, yeah? Not uh, dropping on me, just being light. Feminine, yeah. yeah. So, like developing femininity, femininity, confidence is a part of dancing as well. Again, a topic for a different video. Um, okay, now the like up. We'll do one basic to the side. Five, six, seven. Cheeky, cheeky, open. Cheeky, cheeky, stop. And from here, guys, you are going with the left foot forward, and then with right back, and we open with the left. Five, six, seven, and go. Front, back, open. Okay, from girl perspective, at the same moment, she goes back with the right, five, six, seven, back with the right, front with the left, and front with the right. And now, we created a bit of space in front of us. There is space for her to go in front of me, okay? This is very important. 
we created this space for girls. One more time. Five, six, seven, one, two, three. Now, I continue with three steps in a spot and I will rotate my body to the left. At the same time, she'll walk forward and rotate her body to the left as well. We keep holding the left hand, we'll let go the right one. One, two, three, continue, walk, walk, walk. Three steps, I rotate it towards her, we're facing each other. From here, straight away, we start guapea, both back. I go back with the left, she goes back with the right. One, two, three, six, seven, one, two, three, and five, six, seven, and one, two, three, and five, six, seven, okay? We'll do it again, maybe from the same perspective. Yeah, I'll still try to make a split screen in here. I think we are uh, taking small amount of screen, so it should be quite easy. Five, six, basic, tiki, one, two, three, dile, cano, go, front and open, step, 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 both back, back, chiki, chick, and front, chiki, poco, back, chiki, chick, and front, chiki, poco, and back, chiki, chick, and front, chiki, stop. We'll do it one more time, but this time we'll start uh, side to you. Five, six, seven, one, two, delay cano, five, six, go, cheeky, cheeky, open, cheeky, cheeky, open, and one, two, three, and five, six, seven, and one, two, three, and five, six, seven, one, two, three, and five, six, seven. What we notice is more the most difficult for our students when they are learning delay cano is the moment to start it. So it's good habit or it's a good idea to remember that all actions or majority of actions are starting after our open step. So cheeky, cheeky, open, cheeky, cheeky, open. And after I open, then I go cheeky, cheeky, hop and cheeky, cheeky, hop. Also, Dilekeno reverses the position. So you, we started from this camera that I'm looking at now. You could see my back. Now you can see all us back, okay? And this is one of the aims as well. Tick, ticky, and five, six, seven. I think this is where we should stop and show you everything with the music. I know it's getting uh, very detailed, but I think it's worth to do it this way. Maybe actually you will be able to learn from it. We know it's difficult to learn from uh, online classes and we strongly encourage you to join us in real life in here, but if this is the only way you can do, um, if this is the only way you can learn salsa, we'll try to do it as well as we can. Okie dokie. So a couple of times we'll do it facing this direction and then we'll rotate 90 degrees as well. So one, three, five, six, seven, and tick, tick, hop, D like cano, hop, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, and guapea, tiki, boom. Five, six, seven. And yes, you noticed it right. We didn't show you how to close position yet. Next episode. Okay, let's start one more time from top. Five, six, seven, and cheeky, cheeky, hop. Cheeky, keep a basic for a bit longer. Six, seven, and one. D like cano, hop, get ready, go. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, bow, back, cheeky, chick, and front, cheeky, poco, back, cheeky, chick, and front, cheeky, poco, and back, cheeky, chick, guapea, guapea, six, seven, one, and five. Okay, one more time, but this time, different direction, different perspective. One, three, five, six, seven, and chick, chick, hop, chick, chick, basic, keep going with basic, and let's start the deal again. One, Five and one, five, six, seven and one, five, six, seven and one. We'll do it one more time, but this one, uh, this time this angle. Five, six, basic, tick, tick, hop, be like cano, hop, one, two, three, five, six, seven, bow, back, tiki, tick, and front, six, seven, left, tiki, tick, right, tiki, poco. Left cheeky cheek, right cheeky poco, and ting ting ka, and ting ting kukum. And let's start reviewing a bit. 
This is al centro. La chica. Six, el chico. Five, six, seven, los dos. One, los dos. Five, six, seven, and one. And dile que no. And one. Five, six, seven, go back, chiki, chik. And from chiki, puku, and back, chiki, chik. From chiki, puku. In next episode, we'll show you how to close position with a chufla man. Everything step by step. And dile que no again. Up, one, five, six, seven, and one. Five, six, seven, and one. And five, six, seven. I'll close it one more time. You can just walk around each other, that's perfectly fine. And one more time, la chica. El chico. Los dos. Dile que no straight away. Go, one. And close position. Arriba. And chick, chick, pa. Chick, chick, abajo. Chick, chick, pa. Chick, chick, arriba. Chick, chick, pa. Chick, chick, abajo. Chick, chick, di like an old go. And bing, bing. Five, six, seven, and one. Five, six, seven, and one. Okie dokie. It did take us some time to go through this uh, two simple steps. Okay, they are not so simple, but they are very important. Uh, they are the key blocks when we are talking about dancing in couples. We'll show you over time that everything what we are doing is like building from puzzles. You have the small puzzles, you have now puzzle of basic steps, you have puzzles of left and right turn, um, now you, we, we are adding Dilekeno and Guapea to it. And then, step by step, you start building connections in your head. Your body will start memorizing. And you'll realize that dancing is very, very similar to learning foreign language. So what we are doing now is teaching you some simple words. Then we'll start building sentences out of it. And then you will notice that with proper grammar, you can change order of sentences and connect them in different way and still make it work. How amazing is that? And another aspect is that dancing, the same as language, is a way of communicating. Yeah? So I'm giving her signals. She's um, receiving them. Actually, we didn't talk about signals during Guapea and Dile que no. We'll do it next time. Eh? We missed that. Okay. So that gives you a reason to join us next time. We'll try to remember that. We'll discuss signals during Guapea and Dilekeno. We know that it's a bit overwhelming to take all of it at once. So it's okay. We can do it perfectly uh, well next time. So remember to like, subscribe, and press the bell. Like, subscribe, and press the bell. Follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. You can get our guide. All information you'll find in the description if you are getting slowly interested also in Cuban music. There is my Spotify link in the description as well. Thanks for watching this episode. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.